Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be talking you through the next major support and resistance on the Bitcoin chart that we are trading from right now. I want to obviously, of course, we've got to be covering the triangle, which is really, really reaching the apex of this triangle. Now we are looking for this. Um, well, I'll cover today the, the levels that I'm trading from, but I think it's going to be exciting. But obviously, as we're reaching closer and closer to the end of the triangle, more and more people are getting bored. And of course, uh, what I will say is you do not need to be in front of your computer 12 hours a day waiting for a Bitcoin trade. But what you do need to be doing is ready and waiting for the levels when they come. OK, so a lot of people, as it progresses, they get bored, they go away, they wait for the move to occur to come back. But what I, you know, what I want to say, a, a, a trader that's ready, let's just say this, is identifying the levels now, ready and waiting for it. So they're not going to be missing the moves. OK, so that's what we'll cover in today's video. Hope that you are doing well. And yeah, let's go into the analysis. So obviously we saw that nice rejection off of around thirty eight thousand dollars last night, which was um, you know, a pretty big resistance to be fair. And we'll cover this in a little bit more detail here. But obviously we were, uh, let's show the first thing that we had. Or let's just hide the triangle. So obviously we're still trading off of this triangle. Let's mute Discord a second. Otherwise the notifications are non-stop. Um, you, obviously we still have this triangle going on, okay? And like we say, um, well, this is what I'm personally expecting. Obviously I was hinting about this on the last live stream that I done. But personally, I... I personally think a lot of people now are aware and looking at the same triangle that we're looking at. Obviously, this is this is why it's, uh, it really does pay to be ahead of the competition because already we've had the short from the high of the triangle, the long from the low of the triangle, and actually a short from the CC, which I'll cover in this video. But this has already give, give three winning trades, you know, the short, the long, and the, the short that I'll cover in a second. That was obviously covered you know, now four or five days ago on the, that was actually done live stream that I done for the members on the 27th. Okay. So one week later, and now suddenly everybody else is realizing the triangle that we've already taken three trades off of. So there you go. Pays to be ahead of the competition. It really does. But we can see we've obviously rejected from the high, re, you know, rejected from the low. And now we've come up to this point and you might be wondering, well, that's not off of a trend line, Daniel. So, so what are we rejecting from here? What is the reason for the rejection of what many people might describe potentially as a random place on the chart? But as we've always said, there's never a random pivot. Every pivot, I want to say, is predefined, ready and waiting for the for the better trader to take the trade. So what did we have here? Well, it's a CC, but I actually describe this one in uh, my group as a you know an irregular CC pool because what's the pool that most people are going to do? Obviously, if they're trading this for a triangle, let's say they're looking at this as an A, B, C, D, E triangle. Okay, so this is obviously, um, you know, what I think a lot of people are going to be looking for, A, B, C, D, E triangle. Okay, so if that's the case, where are most people going to pull their CC from? Well, they're actually going to pull it here. They're going to pull it from the high down to the low. And you will see here, it misses the CC. Okay, you might be like, wow, so how did you how did you know to short when it hadn't hit the CC? Well, I'll share with you this post yesterday. And again, um, I do not post that often in the Bitcoin charts only or TA. Like, I'm only posting when it's actually needed. So I'm trying to keep my updates, um, you know, you know, once a day, but only the really crucial, important updates. So I'm not like spamming the chats with loads of things. So yesterday... I posted two, three charts, and it was all off of this thirty-eight, um, yeah, thirty-eight thousand dollar resistance. Obviously, we had the point of control coming in there, talking about some CME gaps, and here the, you know, the the, the modified, I want to say, CC pool, uh, CC, CC pool, CC pool for the CC pull. <laughs> that made me laugh. But obviously, we can see here I had adjusted my CC, so it's not the pivot everybody was looking at. But I've actually adjusted my pivot to take it one further down. OK, and you can see that this was the pivot that actually gave the reaction. This is the one I posted in the group. And that is the exact place where we got the reaction. OK, off of that adjusted CC pool. As I said here, very nice reaction off of that. If you also took the short, then it's a nice take profit one or, or trail the stop loss. But this is the thing that I, I think that, in my opinion, so many people now are trading off of these things. So it's like. You know, you've got to be uh, creative, <laughs> almost creative or not, not, not just creative, but, you know, think a little bit outside of the box. Yeah, I think it requires a little bit of um, yeah thinking outside the box. So, you know, you, you go for the secondary CC pool here from this high to this low, and then you come straight up into it. And why was this such nice confluence? Because you're actually sitting on four different confluences at that, you know, just under $38,000. So 
it's not just of course we never trade just off of this fibonacci we would we would never ever ever trade just off of the cc fibonacci because that's just it's just not good enough to trade off of that okay it's not yeah you have to see other other factors of confluence but when you're lining up four different things in the cc then of course then it turns into what i want to describe as a highly probable trade okay so this is you know this is you know how we're how we're thinking and how we're lining it up so that, that that's really what we have now obviously yeah it's pretty much what we have here we had the short long short okay and now we have i told you i'd, I'd give you some important levels of support and resistance well we can see here if we're looking for you know let's just say we continue down for the rest of the day. Well, you can actually see support kind of be coming in at around $34,000. This would be lining back up with your lower trend line. Okay, you also have high volume nodes here. So $34,000, pretty important support. So you might want to write that down. And then on the flip side, $39,000 is your important resistance intraday. Okay, well, actually you have $38,000 itself intraday. Okay, and then of course above that thirty nine thousand dollars, and uh, you know either thirty nine thousand dollars would you would see you breaking the higher trend line here, and thirty four thousand dollars would see you breaking the lower trend line here. Like I was saying at the start of this video, though, you know we were literally recognizing trading this triangle while nobody else had recognized it, and now you're starting to see lots of people talk about the triangle, talking about head and inverse head and shoulders and all this. So it's like um, in the way I trade is. I really don't believe this is going to trade, um, let's just say, perfectly the breakout. I'm talking about the break of the triangle. I don't think it's going to trade as many people might expect with these um, textbook patterns. So we'll have to wait and see for that. But of course, it gives you a very nice scenario now uh, where, you know, let's say you look for, let's say, you, let's just say this. I'll, I'll give you a few, for educational reasons, I'll give you a few options, you know. That, that, you know, because I, I saw a comment actually the other day, it was on, it was on Twitter. I, I might try and find it for you. It was a pretty interesting one. And the comment was, um, somebody was saying, how, yeah, there you go. This was it. So this guy was saying, uh, crypto Twitter loves getting faked out by head and shoulders and all this. So I swear it happens every day and somehow they never learn. And this guy says, so will you be bailing people out the one time resistance shatters and support fails? And you guys said, obviously stop losses. I might just do a retweet for this one because, hey, why not? And uh, so the guy here is like basically saying, hmm, what about the one time it fails? Of course, of course, these support and resistance lines are going to fail at some point. You don't expect them to hold indefinitely. But what you do have to remember is it's already given one, two, three winning trades. One, two, three winning trades. So let's say we decide to short the next touch of resistance. Yeah, let's say we short the next touch of the resistance of the trend line and it fails. Then you take a loss. Yeah. But out of four trades, you've taken three wins and one loss. Yeah, so you're talking about 75% win rate. And your loss here is relatively small, isn't it? <laughs> you, you remember, if you're short in here, you get the reaction. You're talking about one or 2% stop loss. This short alone was a move down of 17%. And then the rise off the trend line back into the CC was 12%. And this already is 5%, where I personally have told my team this is already a good take profit one or at least stop loss into profits. And so you have to remember 17% coming on 10%, 5%. If you're taking a if you're taking three wins, let's say of an average of 10%, and then your loss is 2%, well, you know, this is the thing. <laughs> Like like my, like my man says here, stop losses, you know, stop loss. Of course, it's not going to win every single time. That's why you use risk management. And that's why you get ahead of the game. Because yeah, if you're trading this triangle late <laughs> and the first trade you take is from the triangle and it loses, then you're one, one trade, one loss. GG. Whereas if you're early to identify these things before everybody else, you've already taken three winning trades. So, you know, that, that that's just what I want to emphasize there because a lot of people are always like, oh, what about, it? what about when it breaks? Well, of course it's going to break at some point. We don't expect this to hold forever. Okay. Um, but anyway, I digress and I move on to, um, what was I going to, I was going to say another really important point actually. And that was 10 years later. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I think I might have to forget that because I can't remember actually. <laughs> and I'm only going to do a one take of this video. So that's it. Um, so, yeah, I suppose we'll end with this. Then. The, the, the triangle is to trade at the moment. I personally would expect a fake out. So that doesn't. So that basically means I expect it to be broken and reversed in the opposite direction. So e.g. fade the first breakout of the triangle. Um, and that's personally what I'll be looking to do. But again, oh, that's what I was going to say. You can basically time your you can time your entry in terms of waiting for the initial push or rejection and then getting involved. So, you know, what I'm saying here is do not 
Well, I would not preset. Let's just say that I would not preset for this. Yeah. So I would not do that. Um, and then on the intraday here, let's just take a really quick look intraday. Yeah. So. La 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 la. la. Oh, yeah, so intraday, really, we can, we can see that we have still got that resistance really coming in at around 37,200. So, um, you know, that's more of an intraday level. If we start to reclaim these sort of levels and we could expect them to move back up, um, you know, so what you could, uh, you know, what you can kind of look here, if we just delete everything a second, um, Daniel, make sure not to save your charts. We were looking at this as an initial range. Okay, well, we can really take it from about here. No resistance, support, deviation, resistance, support deviation support resistance breakdown okay so what we could start to say is if we come back into the range here then you can very likely you know come back up to the high of the range so you what you have to remember is this could just be a big deviation at the moment if you start to get acceptance back into this range then you can look for the push back up to the other side and and continue to trade this range just like you deviated the range here when you come back in you trade back down to the lows of it Okay, up to the highs, deviation, you're either going to look for the retest or you can see it, acceptance, you know, a whole, you know, I think today you do have some good opportunities, uh, final words, how long, 11 minutes, yeah, final words here are, I don't think you need to be, you know, like I was saying, I don't think you want to really be at your computer 12 hours a day while trading Bitcoin uh, these last few days, you know, you, you really have only been given one or two trades a day, one one trade a day max. I, I actually took zero trades yesterday. So yesterday I took zero trades. And it's just because like I was telling my group where I want to trade yesterday. You know, and it didn't happen. It, it hit this. It obviously hit today. So it's like you have to be patient because otherwise you are going to get chopped up in this environment. You are just going to take trades and lose. So you really have to have the patience to wait. Wait for a CC pool level. Like when I give the level, you got to wait for these sort of levels and not trade at random places, not trade at random times. Obviously, I see some members today. Another nice one. Waiting was worth it. Daniel told us to study the content, rewatch the contenders videos instead of taking random trades. Execute. Many thanks to Mike also for Sunday's update. As this guy's obviously got that short from around 30, uh, 37, 700, so around that $38,000, obviously right off of the CC. And, you know, proof in the pudding that it really is working so yeah that's what we'll end with obviously if somebody knows german you can try and translate this all i said all i understand is footprint and tpo if if i was victor i'd be able to read this obviously victor speaks german but me nine <laughs> uh anyway we'll see the local push up here so i'm going to look for the retail if we get the retest of that range uh that would be for me the next next trade opportunity but from here i want to wish you all a very good day be ahead of the pack because then you get the best trades when everybody else starts to recognize it it's time to think okay let's go for the go for, against the majority and yeah cc pool levels respected as always uh thank you ever so much everybody if you want to see more of these updates in real time before it happens of course that's given to the champions group we got a contenders live stream tomorrow and uh yeah hope you have a brilliant week enjoy trading this and now, this is the final words. Have patience, young Padawan. And, uh, you know, success comes to those who wait or work hard, I suppose. And, of course, the most important thing of all, no financial advice or legal advice or any type of advice in the video. It's all education, entertainment only. Understand the trade disclaimer. Please, we're only trading with demos. So very important to acknowledge that and have an absolutely wonderful day. CC Paul send their regards. Cheers.